Hello everybody, my name is Walter and this is episode 37 of Marat's command series. In this episode I want to cover the force load command. Now with this command you can turn chunks into so-called permanently loaded chunks, which means those chunks will not unload even if no player is near them, at least as long as the player is in the same dimension, so the overworld nether or the end. This, similar to the spawn chunks, can be used to have Redstone security running all the time, which can be quite useful if, for example, you have an adventure map and your quests are not based on a data pack, but on command blocks running in the background. Or maybe you want to build a computer in Minecraft and you want to make sure that everything of that computer is actually loaded. Or, well, obviously it will not work properly. And that's where this command comes into play. Now, before I get to the syntax, a quick insert here. This command actually uses two different types of coordinates uh, when you're working with it. For the input, you use block coordinates. So how many meters or blocks is a position apart from the center of the coordinate system? The feedback is given in chunk coordinates. So how many chunks is it apart from the center of the uh, coordinate system? So essentially it's a factor of 16. So block coordinates divided by 16 rounded down, this would be more or less your chunk coordinates. Just to avoid confusion. Uh, also the block coordinates are without the height so this is just the X and the Z coordinates, since the chunks go from the bottom of the world to the top of the world, it doesn't make much sense to talk about height. Now, um, if you want to see your current position or chunk, you can do this in the F3 menu. So, uh, for example, here you can see your current position. Here you would see the position of a targeted block. Uh, the current chunk you can see here. So, as you can see, those numbers are quite different. And with that out of the way, let's actually get to the syntax. So you can do three things with this command. You can check which chunks are currently force loaded. You can add new chunks to this list and you can remove them from this list. So let's start with the query. So we start with force load, then query. And if we stop here, we simply get a list of all the force loaded chunks in the game. If we instead continue with a coordinate set, so X and Z coordinates, then we will specifically check whether the chunk that contains these coordinates is force loaded or not. Next, when we want to add or remove chunks from the force loading, the command is basically the same. We start with force load, then either add or remove, depending on what we want to do. And then we need one or two coordinates. Again, just the X and Z. If we have one, we will add or remove the chunk again that only contains these coordinates. If we have a second set, we essentially define the two corners of a rectangular area. And all the chunks that contain at least part of this area will be force loaded from now on, or will be removed from the force loading. Last option, if you want to have a clean slate, you can use force load, remove all. That way you don't have to specify each chunk that you have force loaded at some point. You just clean the slate completely in the current dimension. If you want to force load in other dimensions, you would use the execute command, uh, but I will cover that command in a later episode. And with that, let's actually get to the examples. So for that, I've prepared this little circuitry here, which is essentially just a redstone clock with a command block that will give me a chat message every few moments, roughly every second. Now, if I were to jump far away, you will quickly see, okay, I have jumped and I don't get any new messages, which means since I'm too far away, the chunk where the clock was in and the command block was in is unloaded now and obviously won't work anymore. But if I were to jump back, you can see the moment I do this, the clock starts running again since now I'm back in the vicinity, in range, and the chunk is loaded again. So, if we check, you can see currently there is no force loaded chunk, which is not much of a surprise. Now, let's make sure that the clock is loaded. So, what I've done here is I've used the force load command with a rectangular area, and for just to make sure that I have everything I need, I just put the area of the clock, which is this 2 by 3 area. Um, in the command. And if I do this now, you can see I get that uh, the chunk I'm currently in, so minus 1, minus 26 as chunk coordinates, is now force loaded. And if I were to check this, 
can see, okay, it found one chunk in the overworld, uh, which is loaded. And um, I can also specifically query the chunk that is, uh, in this case, I'm using the command block as coordinates. And you can see also this is marked as loading. Anyway, let me show you this in action. Now I jump far away. And you can see the clock is still running. I'm still getting the messages. I could still have my quests running. I could still make sure that my computer is running, whatever. So that's what all of this is actually about. And obviously, if I want to remove this, I could go with the coordinates again, or I could just remove all. And now you can see, okay, nothing force loaded. The specific chunk is not force loaded. And if I jump away, again, the loading or the chunk unloads. And with that, we have reached the end of this little episode about the force load command. I hope you enjoyed it, and well, see ya!